Hey everybody, it's D Wiley. Uh, just got through working on my garage door opener. I had an issue with the light staying on, they wouldn't turn off. So the first time it happened, I ordered a new circuit board and put it on there. And probably about a month later, not even that long, it started doing it again. So I just took the bulbs out and hadn't been having a light um, in the garage since then. This is the Genie, uh, it's getting out of focus, there we go. Model 3055, Genie uh, 3055. So what I did, um, I was gonna buy another uh, circuit board today. I went up to Home Depot to see if they had some so I wouldn't have to order one, which they didn't. But what I did get was the light bulbs for it and put those on in. So you can see it put those light bulbs in and now it's working right it's working right uh, I'll have to put that back on here in a second so I'm gonna turn off this regular light as you can see the lights on the garage door opener are off so the lights work again and then they come on now when I open up the door so all that being said, if you got a regular light bulb inside your garage door opener, and I think I had 100 watt light bulbs, and I think those are 60 watts. Let me double check. Yeah, so those are 60 watts, and I, and I guess they, specifically for the garage door opener, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing they made different than a regular light bulb. But anyway, all I know is it fixed the problem. And they'll go off here in a second if the video long enough. Hopefully I can keep talking. But again, I um, had a regular, matter of fact, it was that kind of light bulb right there. The same light bulb uh, that I put in the garage door open. I don't know why I keep getting out of focus. There we go. So that light bulb right there, the same exact light bulb I had in here. And after about a month, probably not even that long, it got to the point to where they were just staying on. They wouldn't turn off or anything. I couldn't even turn off by hitting this button on the opener. So I ultimately just took the bulbs out and anytime I would leave the house, I'd just turn that light on and leave it on so I'd have some light when I got back. And uh, I was off today and decided to get out here and start messing around with it to see if I could fix it and um, didn't want to order anything in the mail. So I went to Home Depot and walked by those lights and decided to buy them to see if it would work and it did. So saved me a lot of money. Those bulbs were about, I think 12 bucks a piece. So they are not cheap, pretty expensive. I paid with taxes uh, about 25 bucks for both of them. Uh, but it's working and Matter of fact, while I'm talking, I'll get up here and put this cover back on. I'm supposed to, so hopefully the lights will go out and y'all be able to see. All right, so I just got that back on. And I don't know what the time delay is, but I might not be able to keep this video or keep talking long enough for the lights to go out. But they do work. Hell, I might be able to just go ahead and cut them off now. Let's see. Yeah, so there we go. Cut them back on, cut them off. So close the door, come back on. 
So anyway, that, that fixed it. So if you're having problems with it, like I did, where the lights just come on, uh, just try putting a regular garage door opener bulb in your opener and see if that'll fix it. So anyway, hope y'all have a good day. Talk to you later. Bye.